I'm the board game captain. I'm Lynn. And today we're going to be reviewing Exit the Game House of Riddles. So I'd like to thank uh, Thames and Cosmos mm -hmm. for sending us this copy of Exit the Game House of Riddles. So this uh, this is in their line of, uh, which is, the line is called Exit the Game. It's their line of escape room games. Mm -hmm. Which is, <clears throat> they're meant to be like an escape room in a box. Now this is actually the first one of these that we've ever Play. Mm -hmm. So this was our introduction to the series. Um, so, well, anyway, let's start with the, the stats, you think? Okay. So it, it says one to four players, ages 10 and up, and playtime is one to two hours. Now, there's some extra stats on this box. We're going to get to that in a minute. So for the one to four players, <laughs> I really feel <laughs> like it's best at like three to four. Mm -hmm. um, now... You could play it with less players, and they have hints in case you're stuck on some of the puzzles. But you want a, a people with a variety of skill sets for the various puzzles in here, because there's there's puzzles with all different types of ways to solve them, yeah. right? You agree with that, then? Yes. So the 10 and up, uh, that's probably fine. Yeah. And, uh, okay, one to two hours. We actually blew through this one in under an hour. Mm -hmm. Just under an hour. So um, this this is one of the few times, I think, the, the amount of time here... Well, I could see people going over an hour. Yeah, I mean, it was just, I think that we just had three people where every riddle, it was like, oh, this is for me, you know, and they just, you know, did it. Yeah, this seemed... We didn't have any issues with any of the riddles. And and you hit the nail on the head there. We, we played this game with three players, and we blew through it in under an hour, and everybody, there was like, there was a riddle that was made for them. This one was really perfect for our group. Uh, which is a pretty awesome introduction to the eggs of the game series because we had a blast and we flew through it. It was like, oh, this one's for Lynn. Oh, that one's for me. Oh, that one's for Liz. And we just, we just like, you know, mm -hmm. we did. We just slammed it out. Now, the other stats on this are they have the level, which is marked here and on the back. And this is a two out of five. Um, now, I, it's hard for me to compare that because this is the first one we've played. But two out of five makes you think it's, it's not too difficult, and I would say that I would agree with that because we were able to mm -hmm. uh, go. Th we didn't have really any any major trouble with no. any of the the puzzles here. Um, now on the back <clears throat> we have stats for it has game attributes. They gave a lot of stats for these games, so it says strategy two, luck one, escape room fun five, and riddle solving five. So um, yeah, strategy. I, I guess there's not really an overall strategy. Not so really. so two. Yeah, that seems low. So that seems right. And luck, there really wasn't any luck that I could think of. Not really. I was going to say, unless maybe you luckily spot something that you'll need for a yeah. riddle. And as for the, they, they gave the escape room fun and the riddle solving both fives. Yeah, I mean, it did feel like the kind of puzzles you'd have. We've done an escape room. This did feel like the kind of puzzles you have in an escape room. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of riddles. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's yeah. a house of riddles. It is a house of riddles. Mm. So, yeah, so the theme, why don't we talk about the theme a little bit? Well, it was, the theme was that you get, you get an invitation to this house by three detectives. Uh -huh. And then you get there, the door slams behind you, the door locks, and the detectives are nowhere to be seen. And you hear a scream. I forgot about the scream. Yeah, there was a scream. Okay. So you're like, oh, I have to save them. Yeah, so you have to, you have to go around the house figuring out how to unlock doors you know because it's it's linear you have yeah. to go in order and you know find the people who right you who escape from one you there you escape from one room which gets you to the next room yeah which gets you to the next room um so it has this kind of like mystery feel to it but it doesn't take itself too seriously there's some tongue-in-cheek jokes in here which i thought was really great uh there's definitely some light-hearted fun in here i like the whole mystery feel to it though mm-hmm so the game itself plays like this. You, you put out stacks of cards on the table. There are a bunch of stacks for hints for each of the puzzles. And that's the great thing if, if you know, your group just can't get a puzzle. There's three hints. And the first one get, you know, gets you started on the puzzle, the right direction. The second one takes you like halfway through the puzzle. And if you really can't do the puzzle, the third one's a gimme. It's just like, this it's is... A, it's the solution. Yeah, it's, it, it tells you how you would have solved it. Yeah. So so that you can maybe under you know maybe if you run into a puzzle like that again in one of the you know each one of these they don't really duplicate the same kind of puzzle but it may be playing a different exit the game you run into a similar puzzle mm -hmm. and you you might then you know at least understand how to do it without the hint so you can get better at those puzzles because it doesn't just give you the solution it tells you how you would come to that solution. Mm -hmm. 
Um, that being said, we looked at those after playing this game. We actually didn't need any of the hints for this one. No. Um, we actually got a perfect score in this game, which is kind of crazy. We did really good on House of Riddles. Uh, so then also you have a stack of cards that are the riddles. Mm-hmm. Stack of cards that are the answers. And they have this really brilliant way to make sure you don't accidentally think you solved a riddle when you didn't. The way it goes is if you, uh, each riddle uh, is going to give you if, you, if you're if you on the right track, a three-digit number code that you have to enter into the code breaker wheel, which is a really cool thing. Let me see if we have the code breaker wheel Yeah, it's in there. Available. I put everything back in there. Okay, so a lot of the stuff uh, is, is ripped or damaged, so you can't really see it again. But the code breaker wheel, you, you, you line up, so like the puzzle might have a shape. And you look well, at the it has shapes. To have a shape. Yes, it yes. does have a shape. Of course, the puzzle <laughs> has a shape. So let's say it's the square, and you say, "Oh, and the code might be nine four two. There we go. I'm going to line up the square for nine four two. And then the window, it gives you a number, and that number there, as you can see, is twenty six. So then you would go to card twenty six. Card twenty six would say, "Well, where do you see the shape?" And it'd have a bunch of things on it, and that sends you to another card. And because you have to go through two cards, it's basically guaranteed you're never going to get a false positive mm -hmm. which is actually a really brilliant way to do it um because all the other things all the wrong things would send you to a card that says you got the wrong answer go back and try again mm -hmm. um and we did get a couple wrong answers we just didn't give up and need need any of the hints and we still got through them pretty quickly uh, and then there's ton that uh, in addition to cards and the decoder wheel there's some props and stuff you need for certain puzzles that are in here it says you put these on the side you don't take them till mm -hmm. a, a card told. yeah till a card tells you you got to take them um and of course you've got the rule book and you've got the storybook which combined with the riddle cards will have pictures and also other hints and parts of story as you are making your way through the house of riddles mm -hmm. so Lots of different kinds of riddles. Lots of different kinds. There was there were puzzles where you actually had physical objects you had to fit together. Mm -hmm. There were puzzles where you had to move, put the use the box along with stuff, mm -hmm. roll things around, mm -hmm. um, word puzzles, all sorts of different kinds of puzzles. Um, very puzzly. It was very puzzly. It's, it's very... almost like it was a house of riddles. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I liked this way more than I thought I was going to like this. Like, I thought I was going to like it, but I, I really enjoyed this. Mm -hmm. um, okay, let's let's talk about, before we get into too much, we were given, uh, I don't want to give any spoilers away. We're keeping this spoiler free because I don't want to spoil any of the puzzles for you. I'm just giving you some very general idea of the theme and the puzzles because uh, I don't want to spoil any of them for you. Mm -hmm. um, but let's, let's, let's hit on some major points. So, like we said, there's lots of different puzzles, lots of variety of puzzles. And one of the fun things about these games, appears to be a, a standard in these games, is when you solve everything, you get a little reward at the end, which is amusing as hell. Mm -hmm. But I'm also not going to give away what your reward is for, for solving this one, because I don't want to spoil it for you. Mm -hmm. um, that's amusing. I really enjoyed the, the getting the little reward at the end. Okay, so negatives. What Do you have any negatives to say about Exit the Game house of riddles this you can only play it once i think is the big one yeah okay so there are components you literally need to cut up uh rip up you have to rip out pages from the from book. the book yeah there's no way to play this again it's just it's just not possible to play this over a second time uh, not only if you're with the same any of the same people would you know the solutions to all the puzzles yeah. but even if you're with if you gave this to all new people half the stuff is cut up in ways that solve it for you mm -hmm. so you just yeah it's just not possible to play it again um i had that same negative mm -hmm. i don't think i have any other negatives though this game was very enjoyable for me i really liked it there were puzzles when we solved them i was jumping out of my chair and you can attest to this mm -hmm. and like i was excited do you have any other negatives you want to throw out um no i don't think so all right so now positives uh, positives for me. First thing is now we touched on the fact that it is a this is a one and done. This is you play it once, and then that's it. But um, on a positive note, this game is very affordable. There we looked around, and the retail, the suggested retail, I think is fifteen dollars. But most places like Amazon's got it for even a few bucks cheaper than that. Of course. 
So, yeah, well, because that's Amazon. Mm-hmm. So the point the point I'm getting is it's $15 or less. And if you imagine, now this is like an hour to two hours of experience. And you should play this with three to four people. Mm-hmm. So three to four people with the about roughly the amount of time for going to a movie, mm-hmm. this the cost of this is like one movie ticket for those three to four people. So you get way more, and it's way more interactive than watching a movie, mm-hmm. especially most movies these days. <laughs> But, yeah, so, I mean, this is, in my opinion, this is way more enjoyable than most, you know, new movies you're going to see in the movies. Mm -hmm. And if you compare this to going to an actual escape room, which is the experience this is meant to emulate, this is incredibly cheaper than going to an actual escape room. Mm -hmm. Uh, And a a little bit less stressful, because there's no running around. Yeah, you can just kind of sit down. Do it at your own pace. Yeah. And, I mean, you time it, but it's not important to time, because there's not a time where... You do have a timer, but it's not. It's only really just to see how how well you did at the end. To be like, oh, we did it really well because we did it really fast. Oh, we were kind of slow. Maybe we'll do better yeah, next it's time. It's not a. It's not a countdown. It's a stopwatch. So yeah. it's counting to your maximum. It's not like you don't set it for sixty minutes and then you know a buzzer goes off and. No, there's no there's no run out of time. Yeah. You lost. You're you gonna just, win. You take your you take however much time you're gonna take. Which yeah, I mean it's it's almost guaranteed that you're going to win, especially since e- if even if even if you do poorly, you're going to be able to get all the puzzles because of the hints. Mm-hmm. So there, there's no way you're going to lose. Um, it's going to have a positive ending. Uh, what what else can we say about this? Um, <coughs> what what was that was that was the tangent that came off of that it's. It's only $15. Oh, wow. Yeah, we went far. <laughs> we went far because we were talking about the fact that it's only $15, which I think is appropriate for a, one, a one-off oh, game. Uh, yeah, and um, I have a positive, which is that um, the riddles themselves, they're um, approachable, but they're also challenging. Mm, like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. there were, I mean, we never, there was, I think, one or two where we were all kind of like, you know, thinking about it. And then one of us was like, oh, I have it. Yeah. But there wasn't ever like um there wasn't ever like a time when we were like stuck for ages no. or like we even contemplated looking at the hints, you know, like it never got to well, that we, point. We thought about looking at a hint once, but then one of us got it. And then we were like, Oh, okay, and we moved yeah. on. And and they're also like but they're also not too easy. They were no. never just like, Oh, that's just you know, that's stupid. Why is that even in there? Well and you also know? there's a really good in my opinion, there's a really good ramp up here. It starts easier and it gets slowly more difficult in the riddles as you go. So that until the last couple were the head scratchers were the ones where we really had to think about it a little mm-hmm. bit. And I think I think it it, it, it but it, it builds you in gradually. So that your first couple are like real easy, but they're rewarding. And then later as they get harder, they become incredibly rewarding because of how they're mm-hmm. also significantly tougher. Um, <laughs> but yeah, again, not too hard. This was uh, an easier experience, mm-hmm. but I thought it was, it was, yeah, it was just really fun. Okay. Um, anything else you wanted to talk about with Exit the Game, The House of Riddles? No. no? So, do you want to rate it first or shall I? I'll rate it. Okay, so how many stars out of 10 are you going to give to Exit the Game, The House of Riddles? I was going to give it eight stars. Okay. And that's uh, mainly because, I mean, I I had fun. It was a fun thing to kill an hour. Incredibly you know? fun for an eight. I mean, you know what? And here's the thing. So eight, eight is, is you love the game, you play it. Just about any time, which means that you'd you want to play other exit games. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which means you'd want to play other exit yeah. games. Well, because that's the thing is this feels like one module in a larger game. You know, there's, there's many other exit games out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we talked about looking at some of the others, and there were some that you were like, "Oh, I'd like to play that." Yeah. There's that like Arctic one that you were interested in. So, um, yes, and you know what? For a one-off game to get an eight, that's really high. Uh, I'm actually right there with you. Mm-hmm. I'm also giving this 8 out of 10 stars. I really, really had a good time with this one. I thought... Now, the only other Escape Room game we had done so far was that um, MacGyver game. Yeah. Which was good, but not as good as this. Yes, there's more modules in that. You get five modules in one box. But I thought the hints were better in this. We looked at them afterwards and we're like, okay, these are much 
better hint and also just the enjoyability of the puzzles was way and harder. also if you're still like just stumped with the hints because maybe your brain just doesn't work that way the third card just tells you how to figure it out which like, was not a thing in the macgyver it game literally walks you through yeah. and then tells you the solution and why that's the solution and the macgyver one it was just it just kept giving you vague hints that didn't help at all yeah so there were there because there were a couple we were stuck on in that one when they got really hard so that being said i would say this is definitely head and shoulders above that one uh i had never played the exit game series before now but um thames and cosmos sent us three of these to play and uh I'm super excited to play the others. Uh, we've already played the second one, actually. We'll, we'll, we'll be back shortly with a review for that as well. But, um, yeah, we, we uh, sat down and played this with three players. We played uh, the second one with four players, and, and we had a great old time. So, uh, so, yeah. So, if you enjoyed this review for Exit the Game House of Riddles... Be sure to give it a like. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, either on the Exit the Game series or this game House of Riddles or this video, put them in the comments down below. And if you'd like to see us do more reviews like this, be sure to, to give it a like, share it on all forms of social media, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to The Board Game Captain. That's Captain spelled with a K on YouTube. And hit that little bell icon on my channel so you get alerts every time we upload a new video. And until next time, game, game on. on.